Are we good? Are we good? Is this gonna work? Okay, hello there. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to what is becoming the most underrated channel on YouTube. I'm convinced. Please, if you would like to help my channel grow and so that I can reach a lot more awesome people, please hit the subscribe button and join my little, my little nest, my little cocoon, my, my squad. Um, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I, I have my notes here because, um, we're that, we're, we're becoming that type of person. We're becoming that YouTuber that has to write things down because there's too much going on up here. Um, so today's video is gonna be another motivational, inspirational, something someone out there needs to hear. I just know it. I'm not, I'm not the only one. Um, the beauty of hitting rock bottom the beauty of getting to rock bottom. The beauty of starting from the bottom. I don't know how I'm going to title this video yet, so I'm throwing all of my options out there just in case. But basically, I want to talk about why it's not a bad thing to be in a really, really shitty place. Um, excuse my French. But I'm going to be I'm going to be honest with you guys. I for a long time believed that I wasn't good enough to do what I'm doing now. And I still have days where I let the doubt get to me. And I still have days where I feel like giving up. But here's the beauty of being low. Here's the beauty of being down. Here's the beauty of being at rock bottom where you feel like you you just, you have nothing, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know where to go, you don't know how to start, you feel defeated. Here's the beauty of it all, because there is a good thing in in that, what and, and everything that I just said, even though it sounds like a bunch of negative stuff, but the beauty is that you can only go up. You can only go up from there. If you are at rock bottom, there is only one way and it's up so that's that's number one you can only go up from there if you are at a standstill if you are going through something and you feel defeated you feel like you've lost let me tell you you haven't you are just beginning you are starting from the bottom Today, here's one week in advance yes i'm a slumlord started from the bottom now we're here but you're starting so your journey is only beginning and there's no point in giving up because you've only just started. So that's number one. That's the beauty of starting from the bottom of being at rock bottom is that you can only go up. So don't give up because you can only go up. Number two is that struggling and coming from a place of struggle, coming from a place of difficulty, coming from a place of hardship sadness grief loss all of that it brings about change creativity resiliency and appreciation when you are at rock bottom you obviously want something to change you want your outcome to change you want your environment to change you want something to be different than how it is now because you know that that's going to lead you to a better place it's going to lead you to a happier place it's going to lead you to wherever it is that you're trying to go so being at rock bottom only is going to bring about change. Most likely the change you want to see. It also brings about creativity. When I was at my lowest, that's when I decided to be creative. That's when I decided to write a poem. That's when I decided to start a YouTube channel. That's when I decided to write a song. When I am at my lowest, my brain does this thing where it just starts thinking of all of these creative ideas that I wouldn't have thought of if I was okay and that sounds weird but if you think about it how many of your favorite artists come up with the most beautiful amazing songs when they're sad when they're heartbroken when they're going through something that's just how it is being at rock bottom makes you such a creative person that when you're happy 
you're gonna look back at your sad times and instead of thinking damn i was sad you're gonna be like hey i was sad but i made that i created that out of my grief out of my sadness out of all of those negative feeding feelings i created something beautiful and i think i think that's cool i like that about myself when i'm in a in a low place my brain just it it's like a coping mechanism it just makes me think of all of these ideas because it knows that I have to get out of that rut. I have to get out of that funk. I have to get out of that mental prison. It also brings about resiliency. Being at rock bottom, it forces you to climb. It forces you to climb up. It forces you to be resilient. It forces you to be stronger. And you're gonna need that resiliency because when things are good, when things are going just as well as you want them to, you're gonna need that resiliency to keep it going. You need that energy, you need that power, you need that fire. Resiliency comes from struggling, pain, loss, grief. That's just how it works. It doesn't always come from those things. Eventually you start building resiliency from the good things that are happening in your life because you want it to keep on going, but it starts from rock bottom. Also, being at rock bottom makes you appreciate a lot of things that maybe you didn't appreciate before when things were all fine and dandy. And specifically, I mean you appreciate the things that help you get up. You appreciate the people in your life that motivate you to keep going even when you yourself don't know how you're going to do it. You start appreciating the beauty of the little things in life that actually really matter more than the bigger things that you thought were more important. You start appreciating the new day, you start appreciating the sun for how it shines and it brightens your your room when, when you're tired of the darkness. You start appreciating the people that tell you, hey, keep on going because I believe in you. And you start to use that to fuel you to keep moving forward. You, you start really believing all the beautiful things that these people are telling you and you're like hey they're right i'm gonna keep on going i can't give up because they're counting on me and you start appreciating the fact that even when you lose all hope there is always a different side there is always something more something more that you didn't see before because you weren't focusing on the right things Another thing about being at rock bottom is that you learn a lot. You learn about the things that got you there. And the beauty of it is that you can learn from your mistakes and make better choices in the future. That leads me to another thing about being at rock bottom is that eventually you are going to have to ask for help because you can't do everything by yourself. It's just not, I mean, it's possible, but it's not ideal. It's not optimal. Asking for help is actually a really good thing and it will it will make it easier in the future when you realize that working with people that support you makes whatever it is that you're trying to do just a lot more enjoyable, a lot more doable. And being at rock bottom makes you realize that it's okay to ask for help and you realize also that people are willing to help you. People that care about you, people that want the best for you, they are going to help you and it is okay and it's a good thing. And learning to ask for help, learning to accept it, it just makes you, it makes you a better human. I believe that if you are willing to help other people and you're willing to accept help from other people, then you're just contributing, you're contributing to like this overall energy of like synergy and teamwork and just building things with like-minded people and you start to develop a sense of community and it just goes back to the appreciation thing you just appreciate the people that care about you and i think that's really important also your story will inspire someone else and i think that is my favorite part about being at rock bottom is that once you finally get out of that, once you finally move past that stage, once you finally get through your struggle and overcome your hurdles and your challenges and you finally make it to the top and where you want to be, you have a story that is going to get someone 
else out of their rock bottom. You have a story that is going to inspire someone else and make them think, man, if they could do it, so can I. And that's my favorite because there is nothing more satisfying for me than to talk to someone and tell them about the things that I've been through and let them know that, yeah, it's hard. And at the beginning, you don't know what you're doing and everything seems really impossible. But eventually, because of perseverance, resiliency, accepting help from other people, and just believing that you can do it, you get to a, such a much better place and you start really being happy about it. And I think that holds a lot of value. So if you're at rock bottom, trust me when I say that you can only go up and you should just keep keep fighting. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, leave a comment down below, and please subscribe and join my little my little clan. Okay, peace out.